After exploring the sights and delights of Porto, we boarded Scenic Azure to explore the magic of the Douro. This week, we'll journey east all the way to the Spanish border, visiting some of the Douro Valley's most enchanting towns, some of which are now virtually deserted, like Tarauca, the site of Portugal's first Cistercian monastery, founded in 1124. It fell into ruin after the religious order was abolished in the 1800s, but there's something eerily beautiful about what remains. Why was this all built right here? Uh, they always um, built uh, monasteries next to, the, to rivers because water was very important for um, self... Um, Sufficiency. Sufficient, yeah. yes, yes. And, so they, and also they would irrigate this area, yes. so they'd grow... They usually, have farms and yes, things. usually in irrigated valleys and isolated from people. Right. This is where the monks slept, I suppose. Yes, this is where the monks slept in the 18th century. Yeah. Uh, because right here we are in the medieval area where the, the medieval buildings were. And it's very interesting because when, the, when you look at it, it's a kind of duplex. You see two, duplex, yeah, yes, yeah. two windows, yeah. uh, one to, for sleep and another for work. Right. Only the chapel remains intact amongst the ghostly ruins. Not only is it still standing, it's jaw-droppingly magnificent. When was the church built? Well, uh, the monastery, uh, the, compl the monastic complex and the church were founded, first of all, in 1140. And the construction of the church, because the church was the first place to be built in, the, in a Cistercian uh, monastery, yeah. uh, started to be built in 1154. The church was extensively renovated in the 17th century, making it even more of a sight to behold. It's just so grand and over the top. That, that's Baroque, really? Yes, that's Baroque. Uh, Baroque came to Portugal in the 17th and 18th century. Yeah. Uh, at the time, uh, it came um, from Brazil, that was uh, ours, came many gold yeah. and diamonds. Yeah. Uh, and this was used by the Catholic Church to impress to impress people. Yeah. Um, to draw them into the church. Yes, yeah. yes, to attract them uh, and they, away. And the people were probably living very simple lives, but there's so much wealth in the church, isn't there? Yes, it is, yes. A few k's away is Ucania Bridge, once the access point for the region. It was Portugal's first toll bridge and is now regarded as one of the most beautiful medieval bridges in Europe. Very imposing bridge. Yes, a very imposing bridge that was fortified in the 15th century. Travelers paid to cross oh, the So to the get bridge. across the bridge, you had to, to, you pay. Had to pay, and yes. you would bring your, your produce from your farm or something, and they'd store it in there. Yes, they store it in there. 